Hi, Louise Eistrom here. I'm the Senior Executive Coordinator for the Voice for Tribal Government. Um, just here to kind of give you a, a brief update on a few things that have been happening this week. I have my trusty notes, um, so I don't um, give you the wrong information. So you'll see me kind of referring to it here and there. So um, at the Tribal Emergency Preparedness Meeting, which we call a TURC, um, we had that this morning. And it was reported to us from our health representative um, the number of cases in Minnesota. And right now we have 26,273 positive cases in the state of Minnesota with 1,115 deaths. For St. Louis County, we have 118 cases with 18 deaths. In Itasca County, uh, we have, they have 56 cases with 10 deaths. Kuchichin County, to our friends for the north, they have nine cases with zero deaths, which is really good. I know that last week, uh, the Tribal Council made a note that there has been a confirmed case in Tower, Virginia, and the city of Hibbing, but there is not one here on the reservation. Again, there is no confirmed cases of the coronavirus here on the reservation, and that hasn't changed since last week. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, one thing new that has happened since our last video is Fortune Bay Resort Casino opened. Uh, they had their soft opening on March 31st, and then they had their, their big opening on June 1st, which went really well. And we also wa wanted to thank uh, Karen Drift for performing um, or leading our opening ceremony for that as well. I just want to let you know that if you go to their website at fortunebay.com, they have a full list of all the all the services that have changed, any amenities that may have changed, and all the steps that they're taking to make sure that the employees and guests are safe. Well, this morning, um, it was confirmed that the tribal elections here at Boys Fort will proceed as usual. Um, I know many of us are kind of wondering where that is, and I, <laughs> you're not alone. <laughs> well, the primary election is going to be held here on Tuesday, June 9th. The uh, Boys Fort tribal offices will be closed all day that day. Polling locations, um, we have the Eagle Room at the Tribal Center here in Net Lake, that'll be open and all polling stations are open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So Eagle Room here at the Tribal Center in Net Lake. Uh, the parking lot at the Damiano Center in Duluth, where our urban office is in Duluth, but we're gonna be holding it in the parking lot as the Damiano Center is still not open. So look for us there, we'll have big tents. Uh, the third polling location is going to be at our urban office in Minneapolis at the MCT building. Uh, I believe there's another <laughs> on my notes. Don't state that there's a polling station in Vermilion at the center. Again, these are all open from 8 to 8 on June 9th, so you can make it. Um, let's see. Do want to mention, though, that... You know, protocols and steps have been put in place to make sure that our staff uh, and voters are safe, and they're going to require everyone to wear a mask. Now, if you don't have a mask or a bandana or something you can wear, we will have masks available to you for you um, when you get there before you enter the polling location. So. Sorry, the mosquitoes are getting me. <laughs> okay, but yeah, the, just let so you know that we do have a lot of um, safety protocols in place to keep everyone safe um, and make sure everything is done properly and safe and secure. So we should have not have any issues there. However, if any issues arrive, arise between like now and Sunday, the Tribal Executive Committee of the MCT they plan to hold a an emergency meeting on sunday evening to discuss anything 
say for instance, if there's any more riots or protesting or something like that, that comes in play that will uh, affect our polling locations. And we want to make sure that everyone is safe and is able to cast their ballots. Very well. <laughs> okay. Oh, we do want to mention too that all updates and more information on our, on our travel elections, as polling locations, general election board contacts, are all on our, our website, voicefort.com. So there we go. You can always go there and take a peek of what's going on. And again, we'll have those taken care of if there's anything that changes between now and Sunday. Another update is you're kind of going to go over our powwows. Um, I know a lot of us are kind of going through powwow withdrawal because I know that me and my family, we hit the trail um, Memorial Day and we're wrapping things up in, in November. So it's a little different because we're learning to do full of this new norm. So our, it was stated before by the council on a May 6 RTC meeting that the, our June powwows were going to be postponed. Well, now, due to this COVID-19 pandemic, the Lake Vermilion traditional powwow, uh, which is usually held in the last week of June, has been canceled until next year, 2021. The Sagi powwow, what we normally would have taken place this weekend, has also been canceled until June of 2021. Um, however, um, we do want to mention that to keep our culture and traditions alive, the Boys for Drum group is going to be singing this weekend for ceremony down at our power grounds here in that lake. Um, let's see, where are we? Should, <laughs> I lost my notes and I'm fighting mosquitoes, so please excuse me for that. Um, the, drum, the, the Boys for a Drum Group will be singing all weekend, Saturday and Sunday, um, starting at 10 a.m. both days, down here at the Boys for a Tribal um, Powell Grounds, which is next to the Tribal Building. Um, let's see. We do want to let you know to keep in mind that this is not a powwow. It's, we're basically, we're unable to have any kind of gatherings of 10 people or more in one place. And if you do stop in, to listen or just kind of take a peek, um, maybe offer up some tema. Um, everyone there is required to wear a mask um, and then practice your physical distancing of six feet apart. Uh, the drum group will have extra masks um, with them. So if you go there and you don't have, have a mask, go, go see the drum. Um, see Chaz or whomever, and they will set you up with a mask. So, because we do want everyone to be safe. Let's see, again, um, since we're not able to have more than 10 people gathered in one place at one time, and I mean, that's kind of sort of the purpose of everyone getting together, but we don't want that, but we still want that. It's, it's crazy, but... Remember, we can't have more than 10 people at a time, and we're, we're not counting the, 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 the singers. So, um, yeah, so you can figure, figure, kind of figure that out. And right now, we are requesting that only residents that live within the village limits attend um, because we are trying, still trying to keep the COVID uh, away or not bay. And Again, we were unable to have more than 10 people gathering in a location at one time. It says, but if you do want to come down and listen or whatever, um, remember we do only have 10, can have 10. And then the, the drum group wanted me to emphasize that they will be live on the KBFT's Facebook page. And you can search Facebook for KBFT 899 and they should pop up for you. If not, you can go to kbft.org, and they'll have links to their Facebook page there, and we will be, um, they'll be going live there. So you can listen, um, talk with people, and just kind of participate remotely. Um, the more the merrier on the live. It, that'd be really nice to kind of see everybody. Um, 
Let's see. And that'll, they'll be live for both days, for Saturday and Sunday. So that'll be good. And then they wanted me to kind of address that there has been a rumor, you know, rumors going around, like always, that there is a powwow July 10th. Well, actually, we're unable to confirm that with our powwow committee. So until we find out otherwise, that is just a rumor. It's false. Um, again, if something does come up regarding something close to that, we'll let you know. Um, so and then again, you're also welcome to call us at the Tribal Center. That's 28. 757-3261 and just ask, you know, have you heard anything else on that? And we'll do our best to make sure we get you the correct information. Again, that the Powell, that rumor of the Powell going on around July 10th of this year is right now is just a rumor. So hang in there with us. One more thing, <laughs> one more thing. I really want to emphasize, and I think this is really cool and I'm actually really excited um, that this is being being done is our elder pen pal program. Um, I don't know if it's a generational thing, but I remember doing pen pals um, in school when I was younger, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we got to know a lot of people. We got to learn different cultures. We got just a lot of things, and it was really nice to go to the mailbox and get a letter. And sometimes the letters were decorated, and it was just it was something really nice to look forward to. And that, and I believe that that is one of the things uh, the programs was developed for. Um, a lot of our elders or even younger people are really getting cabin fever. Um, we're very social people. Uh, we love being with families. We love exploring, going out and looking and doing things, window shopping, having dinner. Um, and it's really difficult, especially it's really hard on our, on our elders. Um, and I know when you're used to just getting up and going and doing and doing, it's really hard to kind of stay home and not go anywhere and then not have anybody come over. Um, unfortunately, too, um, a lot of our elders are, have hearing issues. And so a lot of times talking on the phone or doing video chats just doesn't quite do it. So we were hoping that this pen pal program would really help. Not only that, would it help our elders feel um, not so alone or isolated, that it would also help everyone else who's writing a letter to be connected to someone. And you never know what you can learn. Um, you never know. And um, because sometimes people are a lot more um, sharing and comfortable sharing things, say some traditions and stories, um, activities that has happened. A lot of those I remember who lived in that area and whatnot um, with others through paper. And it also gives us all a, gives us all a chance to practice our penmanship. Um, penmanship is getting <laughs> terrible. Um, I know that we did have a comment regarding our pen pal that it would give our youth a chance to practice their cursive and to read cursive, which I think is a great idea. Um, I just, I just all around think it's a wonderful idea. And with that, um, we currently have only 13 people signed up. Yeah, 13 people. Um, I was really, I was a little saddened to hear that because uh, I signed up. <laughs> but um, 13 people only. So we, we have in the Northland area where we're going to kind of start it off first, we have anywhere from 350 to 400 elders. And only 13 people signed up to kind of do letters with them. Um, and then this is for all ages. So all ages can sign up to do this. If you're an elder, you can sign up to do this, even though you don't have to because we have your, your information and stuff. And, um, but anyway, there's nothing wrong with that. When in doubt, just sign up and then go from there. But if we open it up to all of our, just the band member elders, we have over 800, almost close to 900 elders. 
And unfortunately, as much as I love to do pen paling and card making and whatnot, I don't know if I could do that many. So um, it's open. It's free. Just contact us and we will get you set up with everything. And again, you can pen pal more than one person. So when you sign up, you can say, hey, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to start pen paling with three people, you know, and then they'll work things out and get you all set up for three people. If you only, you could do one, then just do one. I mean, one person can really make a difference. And I truly believe that one. <laughs> um, to sign up, you'll need to contact Erin. Her, her name is spelt E-R-I-N. Um, she's at the Family Health Services building, I believe. I'm trying to remember where her office is because everyone is so scattered here from working at home, you know, working remotely, remote can, some of them are working from their trucks. <laughs> but anyway, to sign up, you want to contact Erin Danielson. Um, you can reach her at 218 757 3295. Again, you can call her at 218-757-3295. And if you want, you can also email her. I mean, she is a very friendly, outgoing person. Um, so don't, you don't need to be shy with her. Um, her email is E-R-I-N dot D-A-N-I-E-L-S-O-N at Boys Fort dash nsn like nancy sam nancy dot gov again you can reach um her email is erin dot danielson at voice fort dash nsn dot gov and her information and this information i'm also gonna gonna put down in the description box so you can find it all there um and i'll also include the information for on the election board and link to our website at boysfort.com. Our next videos uh, update is scheduled for next Thursday, June 11th. Again, we try and start uploading them after 4 p.m. Uh, sometimes with the internet around here, it can take a little longer. So just, you know, be patient and just keep checking because um, we will have it up there. I do want to remind everybody to wear a mask and practice your social distancing of six feet apart. It's very important um, to help slow the spread of this horrific, horrific virus. Um, it's just, it's terrible. But like what, how we like to say it is like, I wear a mask, I wear a mask to protect you. And you wear a mask to protect me. And then together when we wear our masks, we protect each other and others, keeping our sacred circle safe. I know they can be very um, uncomfortable at times. You can't breathe, they're hot. Um, take your makeup off, they can do whatever, but ultimately, um, just wear it when you're out and about. Try not to go to, go out too crazy. Um, just remember, it's still out there, and it's still coming in, and it's circling in on Boys Fort. So um, please con be conscious of that. Um, and um, I guess be kind and thoughtful to others. And we shall see you next time. I appreciate um, you watching this. Let's see. I am ready to go. So I want to say chi miigwech and get the wabamin.